Hello, my name is Juan Carlos Ramos Sanchez. I am a grad student at the University of Nebraska Lincoln, and today I am presenting a research titled Manure Treatment Technology Adoption by Swine and Dairy Producers Survey Feedback. First, a background a variety of manure treatment technologies are available for swine and dairy manure treatment. And new technologies are being developed, and these technologies manage nutrients, solids, energy, water, and other components of manure. But uh, while these technologies hold potential to improve environmental, economic, and social sustainability in livestock and poultry operations, questions remain regarding producers' adoption of treatment systems on their operations. So what did we do? We developed two surveys, one for dairy producers and one for swine producers. Uh, both, of, both surveys were set up in Qualtrics, that's an online survey platform. And they have questions covering manure related practices in animal facilities, manure handling and land application. Additional questions asked producers to prioritize their needs for manure treatment, the factors influencing technology selection, the current technologies being utilized in those farms, and the principal barriers for adoption. Swine respondents um, were from, we have 10 swine farms characterized, seven of them in Nebraska, two in Iowa, and one in Ohio. And for dairy, we have eight farms characterized, seven of them in Nebraska and one in Minnesota. So as a big picture of those farms, for the dairy ones, the lactating coher was on average 933 head and the, the hair size uh, was between 30 and 2,150 head. For swine, we had uh, we broke that into farrowing and finishing systems. So the ones with a farrowing system, we asked for the sow hair, and we had an average hair size of, of the sow hair of 2,762 head, with a range between 250 to 7,500 head. Then for the ones with a finishing system, we asked for the finisher hair. Uh, we have six farms with, with that type of system, but only five of them provided information for, for the production size. So we had an average size of 23,600 head with a, in a range uh, between um, 1,200 and 70,000 head. The objective of this research was to assess needs for desired outcomes and barriers for adoption of manure treatment technologies current levels of technology adoption and satisfaction of swine and dairy producers in the Midwest. So what have we learned? First, uh, for the eight dairy farms, the main housing was free stall. They were using sand for bedding, flushing, and most of them were doing water recycling. Separation was done by mechanical and setting lanes or basins, and then the a slurry was uh, being treated by either uh, sedimentation, mainly by sedimentation, but also some of them were doing aer anaerobic digestion. And uh, for the solid treatment, we have a combination of you know, composting piles, direct drying, and some of them weren't uh, treating. Then for the swine, we have a more uh, diverse system with uh, most of the farms doing uh, using when to where when to finish and uh, the main housing was all slaughtered floor building and manure was collect uh, using pool plugs deep pits or a combination of those mainly uh, most of them didn't recycle water and the, then the manure treatment was done mainly by the addition of chemicals, but some farms were use, using also aeration, lagoons, anaerobic digestion, and composting. For the factor that most influenced the selection of the implemented manure treatment technologies, we had 
The main one was low management demand for both uh, dairy and swine operations. We also saw low mining perform best functionally for, for both of, those, of them and low operational cost. For the primary desired outcome of implementation of manure treatment technologies, we found that feeding land application system was important, especially because producers were using irrigation and injection for land application. So they needed to get rid of solids. Then uh, we found that retaining treatment capacity was important for both swine and dairy. Meeting regulatory requirements was important as well. And reducing odors and exporting nutrients were important uh, desired outcomes, especially for swine operations. We asked what were the biggest barriers to upgrading the farm manure management system in both industries. And we found that economics are important here and uh, initial cost, return on investment and operational costs were the, between the most mentioned ones uh, in both swine and dairy. And then uh, management demand was an important one for swine producers. So what are our future plans? We, we are moving into qualitative exploration. So we will help focus, group, focus groups with swine and dairy producers. And we will try to discuss and share their manure treatment needs and desired outcomes from new treatment options. And we are trying to do this online so they producers will be able to share their perspectives for the present and future. And we are hoping that this will also be a learning space for producers to get to know what others are doing and what problematics they are facing. The results of the surveys are also being used in formal decision support tool being developed for the manure, for the management of nutrients for reuse uh, project. And finally, our findings will be used to develop extension programs that meet the needs of producers for manure management in Nebraska and neighboring states. We would like to thank the USDA NIFA Africa Water for Food Production System program for uh, financing this study and also to our collaborators. Thank you.